lives in the bell tower of Paris railway station. He observes the city every day, looking at all kinds of people passing by. He shuttles through the mechanical passages of the bell tower every day. He grew up without a mother. His father is a museum restorer. Leave him a robot. Father, promise him before death. Fix the robot. Let him accompany Hugo. Father was killed in a sudden fire in the museum. In a sudden fire in the museum. Hugo has since become an orphan. He never forgot his father's wish to fix the robot. He watched the grocery store opposite through the gap every day. One day, he thought George was asleep. He came out of the building. Hugo approached George. He wants to steal some parts to fix the robot. When he reached out to the mouse toy, George grabbed him. He didn't fall asleep. He noticed Hugo. George asked Hugo to hand over everything. He looked these days. Hugo not only handed over all the parts he took away, but also handed over a mechanical manual left by his father. George flipped through his notes. There are some mechanical drawings in it. It seems to awaken something about him. He was very angry in an instant and drove Hugo away. He also said that he would burn the manual. Hugo was afraid that the patrol would find him because orphans will be arrested. Then, he will be sent to an orphanage. He dodged the inspector carefully. Go back to the building where you live. He skillfully clockworked the station clock at night. Hugo couldn't bear to have his father's notes burned by George. He followed behind George. A cold snowy day. He was wearing a pair of shorts. He followed George to the door. George came into the house. But he never said anything to Hugo. He saw Isabella in the room. He called her down. Asked her to get his notes back. The girl said yes. Hugo returned to the clock tower of the railway station. He looked at the delicate robot at his desk. He thought of his father again. Hugo is an orphan. He lodged in the bell tower of the railway station. On this day, he returned to the clock tower. He looked at the robot left by his father. He thought of his father. His father is a museum restorer. That day, his father brought back a robot. Every day after work, they study robots together and want to fix it. This is his fond memory. That note is left by my father. After his father was killed in a fire, Hugo was taken to the station by his uncle. The next day, he came to George. The notes were burned. He cried and ran away. He bumped into Isabella. She told Hugo. Father didn't burn his notebook. She took Hugo to the bookstore. Since then, they have often played together. One day, Hugo told the girl that liked to take himself to the movies before his death. His most impressive clip is that the moon has a face. Man fired a shell. Fly directly into the eyes of the moon. Isabella was forbidden from watching movies by her father since she was a child. After listening to Hugo's story, she is full of longing. Then Hugo took the girl to his residence. Show her the robot his father left for himself. Hugo says the robot has been fixed. But if you want to start, seems to need a heart-shaped key. Isabella remembered that she had a heart-shaped key since she was a child. So he tried to plug it into the robot. Winding a robot. Turn the key. The robot actually works. But the robot is not writing. It's meaningless scribbling. It draws what Hugo just said. Picture of shells hitting the moon. And wrote the name of George M. Lee A. S. beside it. Isabella was surprised when she saw it. Isn't that the name of her adoptive father? But why is the robot associated with her father? This filled them with doubts. Hugo thought the robot could leave something about his father. He was depressed. Isabella comforted him. In order to solve the confusion, they found the girl's foster mother. Show her the picture drawn by the robot. But Jean didn't want to say much. Jean was about to drive Hugo away. George came back. Jean told them to hide in the room. She didn't want George to see them. Hugo looked at the wardrobe. In front of him, they found a solid wood box. The box was too heavy and fell off. The paintings inside flew out. George was very irritable when he saw these paintings. He tore up a few pictures. Their search for clues has been interrupted again. Hugo and Isabella in search of the truth. They came to the library to find books about movies. They happened to see the steels of shells hitting the moon. The film introduced in the book is called On Journey to the Moon. This is the first science fiction movie in history. Director George is a pioneer in science fiction movies. Isabella didn't expect her adoptive father to be a famous director. While they were discussing it, suddenly a man appeared. He is the author of the book. He knew that his idol didn't die. He introduced them to what he had collected about George and talked about the first time he saw George when he was a child and said that George's works were lost. He also keeps a work. He is willing to visit George with this work. Isabel made an appointment to go early tomorrow morning. The next day, 
When they arrived at George's house, they showed the film to Isabella's foster mother. The foster mother watched the movie. She remembered the precious memories of that year. She was too excited to speak. George also appeared in the room. His wife told him not to run away from the past and told the story of George. George was a magician when he was young. He made a robot. Later, he witnessed the birth of the first film. From then on, he fell in love with movies. He even sold his fortune. Make a film with a homemade camera. He slowly embarked on the road of directing. But after the war broke out, movies are also in crisis. People who come back from the battlefield have experienced too many things. They have lost interest in movies. George can't afford to pay his salary. Burn the props. Dismiss the team. Sell the film to the shoe factory. He sold everything. And then, he opened this grocery store. His favorite robot was donated to the museum. But after a fire, the robot lost its trail. George said pessimistically that beautiful pictures only exist in movies. Hugo heard it. He knew that the robot his father had left him belonged to George. He just ran back to the station. He was caught by the inspector. Lock him up. Hugo pried open the lock and ran out. Back in the clock tower, the inspector followed him closely. Hugo had to hide on the dial outside the clock. This just escaped the inspector. He picked up the robot and left. But the inspector found him anyway. Because orphans are going to be arrested. Then, he will be sent to an orphanage. He was in a great hurry. The robot fell on the railroad track. The train is leaving. Fortunately, the inspector pulled him up. Then George appeared. George saved Hugo. George returned to optimism after seeing the robot. At the end of the movie, fans of George found a lot of his works, and the works were grandly exhibited in the theater. George also appeared at the scene and thanked Hugo. George was once again immersed in the works of that year. That's the end of the movie. Although the film begins with Hugo's unhappy childhood brought out George in this interspersed way, it is also the director to pay tribute to George. This movie is only 10 minutes long. Journey to the Moon. It opened an era belonging to movies. Open another era of film.